Y'all, there are so many pros to getting your hair locked, especially to getting micro locks. I'm gonna tell you about the things that make me so excited to have my hair the way it is. First things first, my thin hair has never looked so thick. It's just, it's like, um, it's just so full, you know, I have hair. I remember I went to theater school there was a girl there named Amanda. She had a thick ponytail, and she, she was white, but um, she had a ponytail that was this big. Ponytail was about that big. It was crazy, because I was like, wow, you have uh, so much hair. I had to do her hair for my play, and I put some curls in it. Child, them curls didn't last, because her hair was so dense. You know what I'm saying? And now look at me, five years later, and I've got a ponytail that's this thick. It's even thicker. All because I got me some micro locks. So if you got some fine hair, you got some thin hair, low density uh, situation going on, this rocks, this works out. This makes it so that everything will be okay. Everything. Second thing, curls, braid outs, waves, they are your champion. They wanna hang in there for you because your hair is smaller. When you got bigger locks, you don't get to hold a curl the same way. You get to be, you know, probably more wavy than curly. It's all beautiful. But if you want your curls to be a champion, you gotta get you some small locks. Get you some small locks up in there. And the third thing, I don't know about y'all, but when I was young, I used to get uh, micro braids. Not micro, micro braids. Not like micro braids by the Africans or anything, but my sister and I, we used to do each other's hair. And we used to get small braids. When we went to school, we had the juice. Everybody loved our hair. It's something, if there's a giddiness with getting your hair newly braided. You get that every time you interlock your hair. And that giddiness can be yours every time you interlock your hair, just like it's mine. Now, I ain't saying that it don't take long to interlock your hair, or that interlocking is pleasurable or will be pleasurable for you. I got a friend on Instagram, she said that it is therapy for her. And that's, a, that's something new, because I had never heard of that, but maybe I should try to think of interlocking my hair as therapy for me as well. Whatever the case, I just think that this gives you that, like, I just got my hair done in micro braids feeling, but it's your real hair. It's your real hair. Like, doesn't that blow your mind? It blows my mind, which is why I love my hair like this. I love it like this. I love it like this, okay? <laughs> Those are the most, those are the reasons I love my hair the most. If you're someone like me, and you come from a place of always doing your hair with weave, but you wanna be able to have that same, the same changeability that you do when you have a weave, then micro locks are for you too. I would try it out. And also, I would encourage you to interlock them yourself because there is nothing more freeing than being able to do your hair yourself. You don't have to pay nobody. Ain't nobody got to mess it up. You ain't got to be worried about if somebody going to do it too tight, if they going to listen to you when you tell them it's too tight, if you're too shy to say it's too tight. None of that stuff has to apply to you. Paying $700. I heard somebody tell you today, they paid $700 to get their hair to get their micro locks now in style. Not sister locks, to get their micro locks in style. I said, what? Girl, I can't do it. I can't do it. $700? Oh, I'm in the wrong business, hell. My hair is fabulous. I'm just telling you what, I'm just telling you about the things that excite me um, about my hair in the hopes that it may entice you to get excited about your hair too. Locks in general are awesome. I'm just telling you, just a little micro lock love, you know what I'm saying? 
I wouldn't even look at interlocking like a con. I would look at it like, you know, you know what? It's like working out. You know, you wanna get strong, so you gotta work out. You don't like working out, but you wanna get strong. It's a part of the territory. It's not like- A con of getting strong is that you have to work out. No, you know, that's not how that works. One of the aspects of getting micro locks that is painstakingly slow and tedious is interlocking, but it's well worth it. I do it every time. I may make it seem like I don't like it, which I don't, but I don't not like it enough to not do it. You know what I mean? Cause I still like this. I just, it's so much fun having hair, <laughs> having what thicker hair, you know what I mean? Like I just, I never had that as a child. Well, I had it for a little while, but then the perms ruined it and now I have it again. And I can appreciate, I can appreciate it. You know, like you just can't, you can't give that away. Thank you all for tuning in i hope y'all learned something today and i hope that you're encouraged to lock your hair after this whichever way you're gonna do it free form micro lock traditional locks whatever you're gonna do okay that's my time y'all